Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight. I am so excited to share my entire day of eating with you. A little day in the life, a little fur baby action, show you a new product that I, I just discovered and was sent to me, I wanna share that with you. So if you wanna see what I eat for every meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, dessert, and wait until you see tonight's dinner recipe. It was so incredibly good and so low points. All you have to do is stay tuned. So here's what I'm having for breakfast this morning. Super excited. So first I have two slices that I just pop in the microwave for three minutes of the Sam's Choice Uncured Turkey Bacon. This is it. It is from Walmart. It is one point per slice. And these are huge slices for one point. So I really like the Sam's Club Turkey Bacon. I'm also having just two lightly scrambled eggs. To those, I simply added a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of the Trader Joe's onion salt. So that is my two scrambled eggs. And then here I have one of the cinnamon spice bagels from Western Bagel. I toasted it, added a little bit of spray butter. This is the bagel here that I used. These are the Western Bagel cinnamon spice, 120 calories. These bagels are only three smart points and that is for a full size bagel. So this entire bagel three points. Western Bagel has tons and tons of flavors. I really like the cinnamon spice, the blueberry, the perfect 10 plus multigrain are only two smart points. There's also baguettes for one and then they have huge bagels for five. So if you're looking for a really good alternative bagel to have with breakfast, you can make breakfast sandwiches. You can even use these for bagel sandwiches for lunch. Western Bagel is the way to go. I will put my discount code here on the screen it will save you 10%. That is even on their special they have right now, which is a build your own box, where you can choose anywhere from four to six bags of the bagels, any flavor you want, any size you want, any points value that you want for a really good price with free shipping. And then you can turn around and use my 10% off as well. So definitely a deal. Check out Western Bagel. So this is going to be my breakfast. So my bagel is three. My bacon is two, so this is a five smart point filling delicious breakfast. Oh, did you stop fighting when mommy came in? Yeah, you guys were fighting one minute ago and then you stopped when mommy came in. You give love to each other now. It is morning snack time. It is just about 10 o'clock. So here's what I'm gonna be having for a snack this morning. I am gonna be having some of my sparkling water. This is peach tangerine. This is zero points, there is nothing in it. Zero calories, zero everything. I really love sparkling water and I love peach anything, so I'm gonna have some of that. I also have a bowl of strawberries. I did not have any fruit with breakfast, so this is my first fruit of the day. Those of you that follow my channel know that I do the 2-2-1 method two zero point proteins, two fruits, and one zero point starch a day. This is one of my two fruits for the day. And then of course, I'm going to have my Bilt Bar. Did you guys happen to take a look at the flavor of my Bilt Bar? Yes, my friends, this is the new cinnamon chocolate cream. This is so incredibly good. If you like gummy bears, cinnamon bears, if you like chocolate covered cinnamon bears, you are going to be in heaven. This literally tastes like a chocolate covered cinnamon bear. It is so good. The cinnamon is an authentic flavor. It is not like red hot cinnamon flavor. It's more of an authentic cinnamon. Very, very similar to cinnamon bears wrapped in chocolate. I'm telling you, you guys, this is one of my new favorite flavors. Love 
love, love. These built Bars are three smart points. They have 15 grams of protein, only four grams of sugar, six grams of fiber, and look at that, only 110 calories. That is what makes them only three smart points. So if you're interested in the cinnamon chocolate cream, you do have to order a full size box to be eligible to purchase a six pack of the cinnamon chocolate cream. So you can get a mix box, a one flavor box, a build your own box. As soon as you do that, you will be prompted to order a six pack of the cinnamon chocolate cream. Use my discount code here on the screen to save 10% and get free shipping. Definitely get yourself some of this flavor before it is gone. As you know, we no longer can get the banana and this is not too far behind that from being a discontinued flavor. Hop on BuiltBar.com, snag yourself some cinnamon chocolate cream and of course some regular flavored Built Bars as well. So this is going to be my snack and it is a total of three smart points. The water and the strawberries are zero, so the only points are in my Built Bar. Someone's on fence patrol out there. Just making sure no one is doing anything they shouldn't. There's Lola way out there. Let me zoom back and you can see how far away she is. But she does this. She makes her rounds around our yard and makes sure everything is nice and safe. So here's what I'm gonna be having for lunch today. So this is my lunch. So first I just have a few baby carrots. I need to eat those up. And then here I have one of these cocoa light these are i've never had these these are multi-grain pop cakes i actually bought these off of nutrition.com they are zero smart points for one they are all natural they only have 16 calories here is what is in them here's the ingredient label so it is literally just flour rice flour corn flour onion powder onion extract water and sea salt so what i did is i took one of these cocoa lights and I put some tuna fish that I have mixed with two tablespoons of light mayo and one tablespoon of sweet relish. So that will make my tuna fish two points for the mayo, one for the relish, zero for the cocoa light that it is sitting on. So this is a total of three smart points, zero. And then I have one serving of my berry cheesecake salad. So this is a total of three smart points and this will be my second fruit of the day. I made this in meal prep. So you can go back to Monday's video and you can see exactly how to make this. It is to die for. And again, it is berry cheesecake salad. So my entire lunch is only six smart points. So Devotion Nutrition reached out to me about their products and wanted to send me some samples. So now I have not tried this, but I just kind of wanted to share with you guys a little bit about their products. So what they did is they sent me some sample packages that have their rainbow pack mix and eat flavorings there's a sample package of their angel food cake protein powder and also a sample package of their brownie batter so they sent me those to try so here's a little bit about devotion which i'm sure you guys have heard of them before but they sound like a really great product here's kind of a little bit about the product itself so it has pro 80 percent isolated whey and molecular protein low carb gluten free which is really cool no added sugar Digestive enzymes, MCT oil, gentle on stomach and bloat free. That's huge, you guys, because a lot of protein powders make you bloated. Make smooth, mix a spoon with smooth with a spoon. Extremely versatile. Shake it, bake it, blend it, freeze it. No amino spiking and pairs beautifully with the flex flavor. So this is the flex flavors. They sent me this. This is the rainbow pack. And they've got tons of fun little flavorings that you can add to baking, to coffee, to yogurt. So this is Bananas Foster, Monster Cookie, Boston Cream Donut, Peanut Butter Crunch, Fruity, this is like a fruity cereal, Fruity Hoops, Birthday Cake, Monkey Bread, yum. And then we've got Cinnamon Crunch Cereal, Creme Brulee, and Gummy Fish. So these you can actually add into anything, your yogurts, your coffees. So I've not tried anything yet, but I've heard rave reviews about their protein powder. So I'm excited to try this in an upcoming recipe. I will, of course, be sharing it with you guys. If I think the product is worthwhile, I'll share a discount code as well. So just a little fun, happy meal from Devotion Nutrition. Cannot wait to give it all a try. So here's what I'm having for an afternoon snack. In my bowl here, I have 24 of my Our Little Rebellion Protein Crisps. 10 grams of protein and 24 of these. Wasabi Ginger with Honey. I picked these up off of Nettrition.com. 
You guys, these are delicious, but I will give you a fair warning. You must love wasabi because they are very wasabi-esque, but they are absolutely, positively delicious. You can have 24, and I, okay, let me preface that with I love wasabi. So you can have 24 of them for only two points. Here is the nutritional information. If that helps you, there is a little bit of sugar in there, it looks like, but all your ingredients are good ingredients. And so I'm going to have 24 of those for a total of two smart points. Look at how yummy, and this is the size of those. So they're pretty good sized crackers. And then over here, I have some of my Too Good Vanilla Yogurt. And on top of that, I have put one tablespoon of the Julian Bakery Pro Granola in the Peanut Butter Cluster. I've actually grown to really like this flavor. There is actual peanuts in it, which is so good. This particular version of the Pro Granola is three smart points for half of a cup, but I did only put about a tablespoon on top of my yogurt, so it is an additional zero smart points. If you haven't tried Julian Bakery Pro Granola, you must, you must, you must. It is so good. As you know, I eat it literally every day. It is delicious. It is full of all good ingredients. Protein, so delicious. I do have a discount code for 10% off that will also give you free shipping, and there are several flavors to try. I have been really enjoying the peanut butter cluster, and as you know, I love the espresso cluster as well. So definitely go on to Julian Bakery, use my discount code, all the information is down in the description box below. So my yogurt with the granola is two points, my 24 of the Rebellion protein crisps is two points, so this is a four smart point snack. If you have not tried this Diet Coke, this blueberry acai, OMG, you guys, it is so good. It is sweet like regular Coke. I mean, it is so delicious. I've had the ginger lime, which I thought that I would love, but to be completely honest, I think this blueberry acai is the best. And this is Diet Coke, so it is zero smart points of deliciousness. So for tonight's dinner, I am making chicken and wild rice. I am so excited for this. It sounds so good, so satisfying. You get a good amount of veggies, some chicken, yum. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first, of course, you're going to need three boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You're also going to need some long grain and wild rice. I am using Uncle Ben's, some chicken broth, light butter, salt and pepper. You're also going to need some Dax Original Red. I love Dax seasoning, no salt, and it is seriously the best seasoning. You saw the green zest earlier. This is the Original Red, and let me show you what's in this one. So garlic, paprika, spices, onion, mustard, and then a little bit of the anti-caking agent. So love Original Red. This one does have a little bit of a kick, so if you are a spicy person, you will love it. If you are not, go light. And then we also need some garlic powder, a can of low-fat cream of mushroom soup, onion soup mix, and some fresh broccoli. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing that we are going to do is to a large bowl, we're gonna go ahead and add our rice. And then we are also going to go ahead and add the seasoning packet that came with our rice. And then here I melted one tablespoon of light butter. So we're gonna go ahead and add that as well. And then we're just going to give this a quick stir. Get that seasoning and that melted butter and rice kind of nice and mixed together. This recipe is awesome because you do not have to cook the rice ahead of time. So that saves a lot of time and some extra steps. So next we're gonna go ahead and add some more ingredients directly to our rice. Next we're gonna go ahead and add in our package of onion soup mix. We are also going to add in two cups of chicken broth. And lastly, we are gonna go ahead and add in our can 
of reduced fat cream of mushroom soup. And then we're going to give all of this a nice big mix. And then we're ready to move on to the next step. So, so far, this is an extremely easy recipe. I have not made this before, but it's rated really highly. So I'm really excited to give it a try. It is a WW pound dropper recipe. And if you don't follow her, you should because she has absolutely phenomenal WW recipes. She always lists all of the smart points. They are already tweaked to be WW friendly. So definitely check her out on Instagram. She does not have YouTube, but she is on Instagram. WW Pound Dropper. Next, you're going to go ahead and grab out a 9x13 baking dish. Spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. To that, we are going to go ahead and add our delicious rice mixture. This smells so yummy with all that onion soup mix and everything in there. Yum. So we're going to go ahead and add that to our casserole dish. And then to that, we are going to top it with pieces of cut up chicken. So I did go ahead and chop up three chicken breasts. And then we're just going to kind of place these sporadically in our baking dish. We just want to make sure that we have a little bit of chicken in each serving of our casserole. So go ahead and add in your pieces of chicken. Once you've added your pieces of chicken, next we're going to go ahead and take our broccoli. And again, we're just going to kind of place it in with our pieces of chicken. You can do as much broccoli as you would like because of course broccoli is zero smart points. So I just want to put enough pieces in here that I'm going to be able to have a little bit with every bite of my casserole. I don't want to overdo the broccoli either uh, because we need to make sure that the liquid is enough to cook down the rice in the cooking process. So there is our broccoli. Lastly, it is our time to add in all of our spices. So we're gonna start first with some black pepper and you're just going to liberally put that over the top of your chicken and broccoli and rice mixture as much or as little as you want. We're also gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of salt. And again, just put that right over the top of your casserole. And then we are also going to add some garlic powder to give it that nice, delicious garlic flavor. Add some of that. And then lastly, but certainly not least, we're gonna go ahead and add our Dax Original Red. And again, this does have a little bit of kick, so I am gonna go a little bit light on it, only because we are not big spicy food people. So there is our chicken and broccoli casserole. We are gonna go ahead and get this into the oven. It does need to cook for about 60 minutes. I just pulled dinner out of the oven. Look at how yummy that looks with the rice, chicken, broccoli. I'm gonna let this rest for just a few minutes, plate it up. I'm also going to have some cottage cheese and I will show you my completed dinner. So here is the completed dinner. So this is a salad size plate. This is one sixth of the wild rice, chicken and broccoli casserole. And this is only four smart points. The only thing in here that has points is the rice and the little bit of cream of mushroom soup that we added. So this entire plate is four points. I decided to go ahead and have one cup of fat-free cottage cheese. I did go ahead and add the Dax everything but the salt to my cottage cheese. So this is similar to the everything but the bagel seasoning minus the salt. Again, there is a code and a link down below to save 10% off of Dax. So this is three points for the cottage cheese four points for the chicken and wild rice casserole. So my dinner is a total of seven points. I had loved the sun tea so much a couple weeks ago that I decided to make another pot. Look at this. So this is the tea that I use. This is the Tazo Iced Blush Berry Black. This is awesome because this whole entire container is only one large tea bag. And these are actually the size to make an entire sun tea pitcher. It is so good. It is berry and sweet. Yum. So I decided to go ahead and make myself another pitcher of sun tea. So this is going to be my dessert tonight. This is one serving of my apple cake that I made in my instant pot on meal prep Monday. This cake is so good. I went ahead and topped it with a little bit of fat free ready whip which is this right here. If you hadn't seen that before, they do have the fat-free ready whip. 
And then I also put just a little drizzle of the Smucker sugar-free caramel sauce. So this is a total of four smart points for this entire slice. Thank you for joining me on this week's What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my meals throughout the day. Everything was so good and that dinner, that dinner you guys was amazing. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. That way you're notified each and every time I upload. I always do a What I Eat Wednesday so you will see one of these videos every single week among several, several other videos as I do upload most days of the week. I would be forever grateful if you'd give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna try the dinner recipe and what you thought of this day's meals. Thank you again so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.